Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Let's catch another fish. So in today's video, I've officially run out of content. I can't think of a video idea, so I'm just gonna do this. So my version obviously is gonna be the crackhead version. One, sis, I don't drive. Two, sis don't even have a car. Y'all have seen me car vlog before, but that was my sister's car. She was in England at the time with her boyfriend or whatever, like her boyfriend, like European, like Konnichiwa. So she was in London and I was here. Ho is back, so she's off driving that thing right now. <laughs> so I'm going to walk. I live in the city, so it is pretty conventional to walk. And where are we going? Y'all yeah, already know we're gonna go get that Mickey D's. <laughs> not because, well, I, I'm not about to front like I don't like McDonald's. I love McDonald's, but I'm going to McDonald's because it's the closest thing to me. And the last time I went to this McDonald's, they were acting up. I mean, it was like, <laughs> they were straight up rude. It was pretty bad and I haven't gone back since. So I'm gonna go back and Hopefully they got their act together. Maybe it was me. I don't know. So maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll start some drama. I have a little Roblox moment in the McDonald's. Start snatching weaves and throwing burgers. Yeah, so I'm going to go to McDonald's. Try to attempt to order whatever the person in front of me ordered. Because... <sighs> Okay, right now, I feel like a psycho because I'm just talking to my camera. Sometimes I just feel like a psycho. But I'm gonna go try to attempt to order what the person in front of me ordered. Um, with my luck, they'll probably have ordered like a salad. They'll probably have ordered like a coffee, like a black coffee with like a fish fillet sandwich. Y'all know, I don't try to act like anybody, but a fish fillet sandwich or like a wrap or a salad from McDonald's ain't it it's not it it's not it so i'm hoping when we go we get a fat juicy burger or maybe some fries oh my god i think honestly i can't wait <laughs> chicken nuggets oh my god i love me a good chicken nugget, chicken nugget moment I'm gonna go off, have my McDonald's moment. I don't think I'm gonna vlog my walk there, just because if y'all find out where I live, I'll have to post up. So I might take some selfies on my way there. I'll have to vlog in the McDonald's, because y'all have to know what's up. And we can have a little McDonald's mukbang, and we can talk, we can spill tea. These are the things I do not want from McDonald's, okay? I don't want a water. Don't hit me with a water. Don't hit me with like a coffee. I already drank mine and coffee gives me anxiety and if I have any more anxiety, I'll have to literally. It cannot be a lot of money. I mean, you have to have some serious talent to spend a lot of money at McDonald's. McDonald's might be expensive now. I don't know, I haven't been in so long. They have like Gatorade there. I've never ever ordered like a Gatorade and I don't want a salad. I don't want grilled chicken. <laughs> I don't want grilled chicken if we get chicken that has to be fried. There's just a lot I don't want from McDonald's. But also, I'm still gonna eat it. Oh, and I, oh my god. I, but I don't want like a coffee or like a frappe or anything, but I do want like an Oreo shake. So maybe we'll get lucky. It's 11.03. Okay, let's go. I get whatever the person in front of me ordered. Oh my god, are you on YouTube? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm, I'm really embarrassed. Okay, so it's only eight dollars. Oh, okay, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Hey guys, I'm back from my walk. Okay, so I know I joked about saying that I might have to post up. I did not have to post up. They were so sweet in there. You know, I go in there and I'm like, can I have what the person in front of me? She was like, yeah, she was so sweet. They were all so sweet. They were being really, really nice. And I got the exact same order except for the drink. I wasn't gonna ask and be like, what did he get to drink? Cause sis, we don't care. So I got a Coke. The person in front of me ordered a 10 chicken nuggy and then a fry and they got barbecue which i'm not too excited about but they did get sweet and sour and y'all know we love the sweet and sour and i also did get a fruit cup for the thumbnail but there was a man in there so i watched a man walk out which might have been i might have ordered what he ordered so i watched this old man walk out and i was like okay i'm finna get what he got 
So I order my thing and it, it goes smoothly, it goes great. And then he walks in and he starts screaming and yelling and uh, it was so embarrassing and so weird. The ladies, they were being really, really sweet about it. He's just being so rude, saying his like fries were cold or something. Ugh. I just hate when people are rude at fast food places or in restaurants. Like sometimes my dad gets rude just because he's rude. <laughs> no, my dad's not rude. Love you, dad. So sometimes my dad will get rude at restaurants and I'm like, you <laughs> know. When I thought of this idea, I was like, oh, that would actually be interesting because you'll get like a little insight of like, somebody's order, you know, like what comforts them. Cause when you go to fast food, you order that food that just comforts you and satisfies you. But this really honestly tells me nothing about the person. I don't know what I was thinking when I thought that. I'm not too keen on the barbecue sauce, but we'll try it just for gigs. I broke my damn straw. That's what I get for being stupid. Mm, that's good, that's good. I thought it was a large, but I think it's a medium. That's a big medium. And there's not much ice in it, that's tea. Oh, because I didn't put much ice in it. I'd be on something else. Ow. The reason I don't have my shirt on because it is hot as frick outside, so I had, why am I talking? Y'all better have y'all's food ready too. And don't judge me how I eat, I eat fast. Y'all know, fries a little limpy, but honestly, I love the limp, I do. And y'all know we gotta double dip that. Honestly, worth it. Take a fat sip. When I eat my fries, I be like, take one fry at a time, take two at a time. At the end of it, I'm taking a whole ass handful and just, I've eaten a lot of fast food in the past months, but I haven't eaten Mc, 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 McDonald's chicken nuggets in quite a minute. The, the flavor. A lot of people don't like McDonald's fries and I get it. They're sometimes dusty, but I love that. I love that they're like low-key dry and covered in hair. I be out here living my best life right now, y'all. If you saw my last video, it wasn't new tea. I was just, you know, giving my own thoughts on tea. The feedback was fairly positive on the video, which I'm really thankful for because I was really scared. I did get um, uh, hate comments. On my videos, when it's just my subscribers, I don't get hate comments because it's just my subscribers. I mean, I might get like one <laughs> when I'm being annoying. On our recreating video where it went, viral. I don't read the comments on, on that video just because a lot of those people are people that, you know, are just strangers so they can be kind of rude. But anyways, I was like getting a couple hate comments, which is fine. <laughs> I understand it. Um, I was giving my opinion and obviously we all don't agree. I'm eating, I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm sorry. I am sorry about the video being clickbaity. It's just a trendy topic. James Charles is just a trendy topic. So I just decided to talk about it. Girl, my mind is just like blinking. I'm like dying about these fries though. Mmm, I can't even. I don't even know what to say. These are so good. There's a lot of YouTubers that pop up in my recommended. Like for example, Antonio Garza. She was popping up in my recommended for so long. For some reason, I just would not click on them. I don't know why, but now I'm a huge fan of her. She's definitely one of those people that inspire me and that gave me like a new outlook, you know, on YouTube. But it feels good when you find somebody like her that's like genuinely funny. It gives me like a new sense of energy. I'd be a crackhead posting three videos a week. It's so fun, it's so fun. But it's definitely like a lot of ups and downs. For example, when I'm filming, it's lit. When I'm done filming, it's not lit. When I'm editing, it's kind of lit. And when I post it and see y'all's reaction, like it just gives me like, I just completely restart. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm ready to go again. When I tell people that I'm a YouTuber, they're like, oh, whatever floats your boat. I'm like, <laughs> when I tell young people, they're always really fascinated by it. Cause it is cool. It's really fun. I'm doing bullshit like this. Literally this morning, I was watching Jake Paul's videos, but I was like watching his videos and enjoying it and like actually laughing. 2019 has been crazy. I'm moving on to the barbecue. <laughs> For some reason, I'm always like barbecue sauce is a no-no. But then when I eat barbecue sauce, I'm like, oh, yes, yes, honey. <laughs> there we go, y'all. Okay, I'm not too excited about this. That's sweeter than ice cream. Girl, McDonald's. Ain't nothing healthy about this, but it's sweet. Let's have a little strawberry moment. Oh, I see a blueberry. Let's have a blueberry moment. Mm. I have like a weird phobia. It just triggers me thinking about it. Like when I'm sipping on something. When you're like drinking something and there's like something like a object or like something chunky in it that's not supposed to be there. I flip my shit. 
nasty, nasty. Oh, I just got something chunky in my chicken. Growing up in y'all school, did y'all have field day? A day where the whole school would be like, the classrooms would be put in certain teams and the whole day you were like competing in like little sports games. I loved that. Even though I never won, I loved it. You see all these YouTubers go to In-N-Out. Like, I wanna go to In-N-Out. Even though I love you McDonald's, but like, for some reason, I'm like lightheaded and my heart hurts. Now that I'm 19, like my body is like, it's not crumbling, but it's like catching up with me. You know what I mean? If I go on a run on an empty, empty stomach, which I used to do my whole life growing up, playing sports, whatever it is. If, like before a soccer game, I just wouldn't eat. You're like, girl. I just feel like I can't move quick when my stomach be full. Now if I like don't eat and drink a lot of water before going on a run, I literally die. I'm like living for this McDonald's moment. <gasps> Sorry. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't get like a burger. I don't think I could have done it. We out. My brain. I'm like, guys, being a YouTuber is hard. It's like really hard. Yogurt and, and fries and chicken, I just don't feel like it mixes. I just want enough money to Postmate. Except I did Postmate one time and they forgot a whole Chipotle bowl, and then I had to share mine. I'm fairly good at sharing, but when it comes to food, I just can't. I mean, I'll share, but like, it takes everything within me. You know we finna eat that ice! Back in the year, <laughs> I sound like an old woman. Some of y'all comment that as well, that y'all, that I remind you of like an old woman trapped in like a his body and that's very true 2017 or 2018 I got my wisdom teeth out it wasn't good okay I mean it was fine but I ever since then I just can't really I mean I still open my mouth and uh, and but I still open my mouth and be loud and annoying but like it's hard to uh, ever since I got them out was I botched okay tell me if y'all can relate when I watched Jeffrey's vault video before then i never had one inkling of thought to like want a louis louis vuitton louis louis vuitton bag like i never wanted one or ever even thought about one until watching that video i was like i need one girl right about now would be the perfect time to take a nap i'm snoopy so she didn't tell me the order but i did look on the screen and i saw that it said chicken nuggets and i was like okay we good we fine but if i would have saw on the screen and it was like fish filet mm, don't get me wrong captain d's <laughs> i don't know if y'all have a captain d's near you but captain d's slaps okay it slaps only on certain days though you can only eat captain d's like once every six to eight months i don't think i could eat fish from McDonald's. I don't really eat fish when I go out to restaurants. When I go to restaurants, I usually order just like chicken sandwiches or like chicken tenders. It's gotten to the point where my mom's like, just order off the kids menu so it's cheaper. And I'm like, mom, I'm not gonna order off the kids menu. Can I please have buffalo chicken nuggets, please? Like, give me that chicken. Give me the chicken. Y'all know we love some good chicken around here. Oh my God. So for some reason, my Snapchat, well, you know, my Snapchat Explore page, it gets messy and sometimes like TikTok and Musical.ly people will show up. And so this dude, he showed up on my um, Snapchat thing. So I was watching his story. I was like, there's something off about him. So I kept watching his story and I was like, okay, what, what's up? And I click and he was making a bowl of cereal and he poured his milk first. And he said, that's the right way to do it. I don't even know. I remember when I was, Literally, I was six years old and I, first time ever like making my own bowl of cereal, I poured the milk first and then I put the cereal or whatever. And I was like, oh, this isn't right. It's not mixing well. This isn't correct. I feel like YouTube is going through a change right now. I feel like there's like a little bit of a lull right now. I mean, is that making any sense? YouTubers react back in like 2013, 2014, lit, so lit. And then YouTubers react now, I'm like, who are these people? Y'all don't understand how much joy it gets when y'all comment on my video being like, I ate a sandwich during this, or being like, I'm eating Chipotle right now while watching this. For me, when I'm eating food and watching a YouTuber, that like comforts me, you know what I mean? It makes me happy, it like de-stresses me, and to think that somebody's watching my video and 
doing that, it makes me really happy. Those comments make me extremely happy. Me and that cashier at McDonald's, like, we were clicking, like, we were hitting it off. I wish I could do that with boys. Like, I am so bad at talking to boys. Literally, they will talk to me, and I'll just, I'll be like, huh? Like, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like so nervous. I didn't even hear what they said. I'm always like, huh? Or like, what'd you say? But with girls, we just hit it off. <laughs> I think it's because I'm very feminine and I just really relate to them. I just thought of something I could talk about. It's very, really cringy. I could talk about the first date I ever went on. Very cringy. <laughs> the first date I ever went on last year, um, uh, he was older than me, significantly older. Maybe, maybe he was like 24, 25 maybe 23, but honestly, probably 26. I don't even know, and I don't even remember his name. We went on a date, I get. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. We went to like this taco place. Then we were like driving or whatever. Play he was playing all his music, and he was like, have you heard this? Have you heard this song? And I was like, mm-mm. And he's like, have you heard this song? And I was like, he was playing like really old rap music, obviously music that I wouldn't know. And also he was playing like weird EDM music. Like I listen to K-pop, uh, which is weird. Some people think it's weird, but like the EDM he was listening to was that weird EDM. It was like, we like no words. It was, a it was weird. You know what I mean? It was just weird. And we like held hands in the car. So weird. Not great. Oh, the reason I brought it up because he was like, what do you do? And I was like, oh, I make YouTube videos. And he was like, oh really? I was like, mm -hmm. he's like, is it just enough to get by? In the back of my head, I was like, mm hmm He was like, oh, I'm gonna be a doctor or whatever. He was like hyping himself up. Oh, why didn't we go to your house? Oh, because you live with your mom. I guess that's the end of this mukbang. Uh, I love you guys so much. Share this video with your friends if you have any, and comment down below what you get from McDonald's. Okay, I love you guys so much. Bye, I can't reach. I actually can't reach. I'm not trying to make it awkward, but like, bye.